In the previous lecture, we used attention for improving RN sequence to sequence models. But attention is not limited to sequence to sequence models. Attention can be applied to all kinds of RNs. When applied to a single RN, attention is known as self attention. In this lecture, I will introduce self attention. Attention was originally developed for sequence to sequence models. But its applications are beyond sequence to sequence models. Attention can be combined with all kinds of RN models. This is the original attention paper. It is applied to sequence to sequence models. This is the self attention paper. It was published one year after attention. The self attention paper uses LSTM with self attention. LSTM is a kind of RN. LSTM has a sophisticated structure designed for remembering long sequences. To make it easier to understand, I make some simplifications. In particular, I replace LSTM with simple RN. What I'm going to teach is different from the original paper, but the main ideas are the same. Now let's apply self attention to simple RN. In the beginning, the state H and the context vector C are both zero initialized. The Rn reads the first input vector x1. It then updates the state h. The information of x1 will be compressed into the new state. The standard simple Rn computes a new state h1 in this way. The new state h1 depends on the previous state, h0, and the new input, x1. With self-attention applied, simple Rn updates its state using this equation. In comparison with the standard simple Rn, the only difference here is using context vector c0 to replace state vector h0. Everything else is the same. Look at the figure. The new state, h1, depends on the context vector c0 and the new input, x1. After updating the state, h, we compute the new context vector, c. c1 is the first context vector. We simply let it be h1. Here's the reason. c1 is the weighted average of the existing h vectors. Currently, there are only two h vectors. The initial state h0 is an O0 vector, so we ignore h0. Then c1 is simply h1. The Rn reads a new input vector x2. It then updates the state h. The information of x1 and x2 will be compressed into the new state. The new state h2 is computed by this equation. h2 is a function of c1 and x2. c1 is a summary of the old input x1. h2 therefore knows both x1 and x2. Next, we compute a new context vector. To compute a context vector, we need to first compute weights alphas. Each of the existing states will be assigned with an alpha. The weights are computed using this equation. I have introduced the align function in the previous lecture. The function measures how well the vectors hi and h2 are aligned. Here, h2 is the current state. We compare h2 with all the existing states, including h2 itself. Hi is one of the existing states. We do the comparisons for all i. Denote the computed weight by alpha i. We got two alphas. Each corresponds to one h vector. The new context vector is the weighted sum of the existing states, h1 and h2. Here, the initial state h0 is ignored because h0 is an O0 vector. 
This is the new context vector C2. It is a weighted sum of H1 and H2. The weights are alpha 1 and alpha 2. The Rn with a new input vector x3. The Rn then updates the state h. The information of all the inputs x1, x2, and x3 will be compressed into the new state. The new state h3 is computed using this equation. h3 depends on the new input x3 and the context vector c2. After computing the new state h3, we compute the new context vector. We first compute the weights alphas. Each of the existing states will be assigned with an alpha. There are three states, so we compute three weights, alpha 1, alpha 2, and alpha 3. The alphas are computed using the same equation as before. In the equation, we compare the current state, h3, with each of the existing states, hi. The new context vector is the weighted sum of the existing states, h1, h2, and h3. Alpha 1, alpha 2, and alpha 3 are the weights. This is the new context vector, c3. It is equal to alpha 1, h1, plus alpha 2, h2, plus alpha 3, h3. Repeat this process. The new state, h4, is computed by this equation. h4 depends on the new input, x4, and the previous context vector, c3. Then compute a new context vector. We compare h4 with all the four states, h1 to h4, to see how well they are aligned. We got four weights alpha 1 to alpha 4. Each weight corresponds to a state, h. The new context vector is the weighted sum of the states h1 to h4. This is the new context vector, c4. Repeat this process. The new state, h5, is computed by this equation. H5 is a function of the new input x5 and the previous context vector c4. We then compute a new context vector. We compare H5 with all the five states H1 to H5 to see how well they are aligned. We got five weights alpha 1 to alpha 5. Each weight corresponds to a state h. The new context vector is the weighted sum of the five states. This is a new context vector, C5. It is equal to alpha 1 H1 plus alpha 2 H2 to alpha 5 H5. Repeat this process to the end of the input sequence. Each time, after taking an x vector as input, we compute a new state H and then a new context vector, C. Here is a summary. All kinds of RNs can forget what they have seen early on, especially when the sequence is long. In this lecture, I introduced self-attention for RN. With self-attention applied, RN is less likely to forget the early inputs. In each step, RN looks at all the old states to compute a context vector, and the context vector is used to compute the next state. In this way, Rn is less likely to forget. Self-attention is similar to the original attention, but self-attention is applied to a single Rn rather than the Rn sequence-to-sequence -sequence model. Self-attention allows the model to pay attention to the context relevant to the new input. In this example, an Rn model reads a sequence word-by-word -word from left to right. A red word is a current input. The weights alphas are illustrated using highlight. With the weights, Rn can focus on the most relevant context. Thank you for watching this video. In the next lecture, you will learn the transformer model, which is based on attention and self-attention.